G'day guys, it's Z and today we are going to do a new hot rod tutorial. This is another vehicle that's been highly asked of me and uh, sort of like gone back to my roots on my, my second tutorial I've ever done. Just adding up a few more things, some more detail and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab our materials and the materials we're going to grab are bedrock, furnace, stone slabs, we're going to use an anvil, we're going to use stone slabs, stone brick slabs, red, wool, orange, glass and black wool and we'll start off with that. So with your bedrock and this is going to just give it a nice smooth texture for the tires, we're just going to place down two with the one gap placing a furnace in the center. Behind the furnace we're going to place a stone brick slab and on top of the furnace we're going to place our stone slab here and on top of the stone brick we're just going to place an anvil. Behind that we're going to place one block of red wool and fill it out by three. Then you're going to come back by two and then place another bedrock just like that and we'll just do the same again like so. So that is pretty much basically the shape of it. Behind here we are also going to grab a stone brick stairs. Let's chuck that there and with that we're just going to flip that upside down. So it just gives you that little bit underneath. Okay now from here we are going to grab our orange carpet and I'm going to place one on each of the corners followed with a stone slab, boom, right there like that. Grab yourself another wool and just pop that in here because that's where you can sit. And with your black glass, one, two and three, one and two, just like that. On the back, we're just gonna grab our black wool again that we got rid of and we're gonna place that there and there. All right grab our item frames with our item frames we are just going to pop them on the tires all the way around like so okay here we'll pop them in the back followed with a couple of signs right here and we'll place one here one on the back and we'll just put in a number plate Hot Rod Zarius. And with a black glass, pop it in the back there just so you can see from out the back. We'll go and grab some buttons, and with our buttons, we're just going to place them on the sides, like so. If you want to tart it up a tiny bit more, uh, you could grab some iron bars and just flip them out like that. This is just a bit of extra decoration. On the back here, what we're going to do, it's a choice if you wanted to use redstone blocks for a big square light or you can use the slimline nether bricks. I like the big, big ones so I'm just going to pop them in the back there like that. Right here we're going to grab a lever and a choice of glass, we choose black, you can use white pop that there, black there, like so, come all the way around the corner, place another one here and the glass there. With a sign, we're just going to place a sign there, you're going to hit enter, you're going to equals three and then you're just going to pop that space bar all the way to the end and there's your little door handle. Come around on this side and you're just going to do the opposite, so you're going to hit enter, space bar all the way to the end backspace 3 and then just gonna do equals 3 and there's your left hand door what we're gonna do then is grab another button and place your button inside the rims as we always do on our cars and then it's up to you guys on the choice of glass you can use black or you can use white 
Now if you're using Flow's texture pack, if you put in white, it's gonna give you that little black border around and it looks very, you know, looks like an old fashioned car. So we'll do that. Now there is another way you can do it. If you don't want to use glass, it looks pretty good like this. So just take out the button after we get another item frame. Oh God. And use a block of iron. And what that will give you is the big rim at the back with a little rim at the front, a little cog. Now it's up to you what you want to do. But there's plenty of options what you can do on this. So what we'll do is we'll just go back and grab our white glass. So we've got the rims. Pop that in there like that. On the front, what we can use for lights is I'm using the skulls. Now, it looks pretty cool. It looks beasty. It looks nasty. I really like it. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty snazzy like this. Okay, so what we do from the top is you can fill it in like that. So we'll just grab we'll grab a black block, black wool, pop that in there, okay, and then just run that over the top. Because you're not gonna really sit in it. Okay? I mean you can if you put like a trapdoor, but it's not really worth it. So just grab your uh, black carpet or dark grey carpet. And with that just run that all across the top. Like so. And there is a version of a hot rod. Now, I'm going to show you something else now. This is what I do on a lot of my builds now. Is you grab yourself a sign. Pop your sign on, on the side. What you're pretty much going to do is press equals. Not all the way, just to there. And then hit enter. Then you're just going to place a number of circles, maybe one before all the equals. Then hit enter again. Probably one, two, three, four, and five. Hit in enter again and finish off with the equals like this. Now, this is just symbolizing a sort of like an engine, maybe. Why don't we do it again? We'll just pop it on this side, run your equals like that. Then your circles like that. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just do it like that, maybe. And then just run it with the equals again, like so. And that's, that's sort of like your engine uh, little piece. If you don't want this here, this slab, what you could also do, and check your item frame on the front here. Because what we could do, if you didn't want this, is chuck that in there like that. Knock this out and we could maybe choose a red block just like that and we could do whatever here. All right, maybe a, a grill like so. All right, because now it looks like a real engine. The back here, you could grab another item frame, pop that on the back and then with the block of iron, just pop that in there like that. So that looks like a full on engine. It's like a V8 or something like that, high powered vehicle. And you can make it more muscly, make a more muscly version of this. See if I can put that back. Yeah, I can put that back. So what else we can do to this, if you wanna change it up? is come to the side here and grab yourself a stone brick stairs and turn it upside down just like that and maybe run just leave it run like that oh, oh. and so on so you've got just a long version I prefer it to leave it open uh, like an old tea bucket looks pretty snazz just like that And that, that's pretty much the build, guys. Um, another thing you can do is, if you've got World Edit, and I haven't got 
a particular plugin for this world added. But if you're working in mechanics, right, all you do is you, you grab you grab your iron bars and just one, two, and three. Now this will work if you're running if you're making a mechanics and that's your roof. Okay. So this is your roof. And if you've got weld edit, this gray block here will not be here. So this will just be hovering in the air. You just go and grab your signs, item frames, obviously. We're also going to grab our iron block and our furnace. And what you're going to do is you just come to the front, pop a sign there, and a sign at the back, with this iron block at the back, place that there. This bloody bird tweeting in the background. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Check your uh, furnace in the front. Okay. And then with your signs, like we did before, just run your equal signs. I'll do this really quick. Just run your circles. Circles again. And your equal sign. And do the same again. Equals all the way circles, circles, and equals, oh, that bloody bird, and that is going to look like it's going to be lowered into the engine, so uh, into the actual car, so what you could do is you could have a car right here facing this direction, and make sort of like a harness, it looks like uh, on a conveyor belt it's going to be, the engine's going to drop into the actual car, so here's your car, here's your slab, got your other slab so we'll get this pop it here and then you've got your red like that obviously you grab our lights and I'm just gonna give you a quick demo guys because a lot of people have been asking what would I do so this is what I'll do and then grab yourself a stone block just paste it there like so and yeah, just run this back, and we'll just quickly do this. There's our glass on the front. Okay, so now it just looks like it's going to be placed in. So we'll just grab another thing there, and it looks like the engine's going to be placed in. So it's just a bit of inspiration, guys, uh, for people that are doing mechanics or, or workshops and that. Just take this on board and, and have a look, because I've done this on a few builds, and uh, a lot of people have been asking me, oh, you know, how do I do it? You know, how do I make it look real? Just do it like that. I mean, obviously this will be back to front. I've just done it this way. But yeah, so I hope I hope this is, uh, answers your questions. I hope this build is uh, something you guys would build and put it on your worlds because I, I, I love it. Um, and yeah, if you've got a mechanics or, or a workshop on that, and you want to show me yeah just make a quick vid put a link in the description down below in the comments sorry and uh, yeah I'll go and have a look because uh, I love how I'm doing things for people showing people things like this and they're sending me you know little messages saying oh have a look at this I love it and I appreciate it guys I really do it just encourages me to make more vehicles for you guys since you love them so yeah keep them all coming and uh, another thing guys you keep asking me, uh, you know, oh, can you build this, can you build that? Um, I've got a massive list actually on the go, and I've, I've got ugh, countless, countless uh, cars that people have been sending me to, to make. I am going to get through them all, one by one. Um, don't think I've forgotten about you guys, because I haven't. I love how you're sending me, uh, oh, can you build this C, or can you build that? I add it to my list, and I send you a reply, say, yeah, I've added it to the list keep it coming guys I encourage you if you want the cars made in uh, to high detail and stuff like that yep send me the the requests I'll add them to my list and uh, I'll, I'll get them really quickly so without any more uh, babbling on thank you so much for watching this video tutorial I hope you like this new hot rod that we've come out with and uh, yeah till next time I will catch you on the next one